say. Derek Snyder writes, I need to settle a debate. Die Hard Christmas movie or not? Please help. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. There's Definitely. there's lots of jolliness and, and there's mistletoe and there's, a, there's a now Christmas I have a machine party. Gun. Ho, ho. ho. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's as Christmas as you know. I actually do. It yeah. is a it is a Christmas tradition. That's usually when I watch Die Hard every year. Now is at Christmas. What do you guys think? Yeah, but the thing is, if you're having a debate that we need to settle with you and your buddies at a bar, that's one thing. <laughs> if you're debating with your grandma over which Christmas movie to watch, right. she yeah. might opt for a Christmas yeah. Carol. I think yeah. she wins. Yes. Grandma wins. Yes, yes, Christmas story. It is. No, okay. What's next? Noah Damron writes. What are your guys' pick for best picture so far? Well, I mean, there's still a bunch. I mean, uh, Revenant is getting seen today. Um, there, I mean, okay. For me, it's still down to the two. For me, it's either Inside Out or The Martian right now. Uh, I have not seen Creed yet, and I'm hearing from a lot of people that's going to be a solid contender. Uh, obviously, The Revenant. Obviously, Hateful Eight. Obviously, so there's a, still a few players to come down the pipe. Uh, a little movie called Star Wars. But for me right now, it would either be Inside Out or The Martian. What about you, Mark? Uh, my answer could change in five hours after I see The Revenant. <laughs> but uh, right now, it's either The Martian, Creed, or Ex Machina. Mm. Right now, I'm going to take The Martian. I'm going to take The Martian slightly over Creed and Ex Machina. But God, they're all great movies. Yeah, Jeff, I have not seen Revenant yet. But I'm going with Mad Max Fury Road. For me, right, that right. was the movie that I enjoyed the most in the theater so far this year. So, I mean, you know, hey, a lot of people did, had problems with it or whatnot, but for my personal choice, I just think of that movie, I get smiles. I'm like, you know, those Chrome boys or whatever, like, <laughs> I live, I die, I live again. Just the weirdness of it. It was so much fun. Witness! Yeah. And to, and to see that, the return of George Miller in such a vibrant way. I mean, you know, yeah, he did Happy Feet and a bunch of other weird, you know, movies that I don't want to see. So to see him return <laughs> to this weird, desolate, post-apocalyptic future and do it again, but better was fantastic. So seeing that kind of amazing filmmaking skill just on fire. So that's what I love about that film. That being said, The Revenant is the one that, you know, I'm like, hey, hang on a second. Yeah. Haven't seen that movie. Yeah. The trailers freak me out about how excited I am to see it. I'll, so. I'll, I'll text you my take. Yeah, let me know what you think, <laughs> Ellis. <laughs> Ellis gets to see it first. <laughs> All right, what is next? Carolina Roddy writes, will Gambit take over Fantastic Four 2's former release date? I don't. I think it's got a release date, and I think they're very happy with their release date. If I'm not mistaken. No, they did move it. They moved it from it's out of 2016. I know, but they did. But they but they oh, planted. They? I believe okay. they did plant it. R right in 2017, I believe. Yeah. Right. And yeah. Fantastic Four Two was slated for 2018. No, no it, was, it was it was 17. June 9th, I believe, 2017. You know, why don't I just look right? It well, up? it makes the PR job easier for Fox if you just want to put out Gambit and just don't worry about that Fantastic Four Two right. disaster. I'm really looking forward to Gambit. Yeah, you know, that, that could be that could be really, really another tentpole. If Deadpool does well, they already have X-Men, but maybe some of the core X-Men that we like, like Wolverine, are going to be leaving that franchise. You need to introduce new characters we fall in love with. Gambit could be that dude. He's charming. All right, what's next? Christian Listorp writes, I'm in Sweden and want to ask why TFA premiere is the 16th of December here, 17th in the UK and 18th in the US. It's, it's their marketing strategy. It's their rollout strategy. They like to build up some buzz overseas first. That's become a new thing in the past six or seven years, yeah. is they like to create buzz overseas first so that when it gets here, it just kind of explodes. Disney as a whole, with their various branches, has kind of been employing that strategy lately. I am not happy about it, but I totally get it. Your guys' thoughts? Well, it's also well known that Swedes have dirt on the mouse. They have actually Minnie Mouse <laughs> and Goofy making out. They don't want Mickey to get word of it. So you guys get the movie first. I hope you have fun with it. Yeah. What it, was the movie? <laughs> this is going back a couple years now. When we were still doing movie talk. Right in basically the storage closet at the uh, Burbank 16, sure. <laughs> there was a movie that you were right beside yourself that you hadn't had a chance to see yet because it opened overseas. And it, do you remember oh, that? Oh, that's right. And all the Swedes were bragging. That's, that's right. Snap, and it was the snap, Swedes. I got to see it before you. <laughs> I'm a fleet and I got to see it before that you. One? That's a really horrible <laughs> accent. I, no, I'm not doing a Swedish. I'm just doing a, I got to see it before you, bragging jerk. That those You Swedes oh that love gosh. me, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the angry, hateful Swedes who get to see Star Wars first. You better shut up. I think, no they, I think Avengers that came is, That is yeah. what, what jerks sound like. That's you know. exactly. Yeah, I got to see it before you. Yeah, yeah 
yeah, they, all they of our that. equipment That's, is from uh, Ikea, so you can't uh, hate that much. Basically, everything yeah. we are on The, the score long <laughs> desk and the Opsonk, uh, you know, <laughs> basket case and the Fimblar uh, bookshelf. Thank you, Swedes. Uh, <laughs> I, I just, I'm just going to say, it's uh, officially listed um, uh, October 7th, 2016 is still the officially listed release date for Gamut. Oh, so just cool. so, okay. And they'll probably get it first in Sweden, too. Yeah. <laughs> you Swedes, get everything first. <laughs> all right, what's next? I have to ask this question because his name is so great and the question makes like no sense <laughs> but Mr. Mackie Cheesy Dog writes what Disney films would you like to see made live action I think Lilo and Stitch would be beautiful how would you make a live action Lilo and Stitch I don't know uh, no, you can, you, no, you can, can do, do Lilo it. and Sif live action, but you just have to understand you're going to have to have a Jar Jar in there. You're going to have to have a, <laughs> yeah. a complete CGI character. Gremlin. Right. It could be a Gremlin yeah. or something. Yeah, like, uh, Stitch will have to be uh, I want to see the Black Cauldron done live action. That's like That's a weird Ooh. Disney uh, failure that they could redo as I a live the action Black film. Cauldron. When yeah. I was a kid, I loved watching Sword in the Stone. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was a cool movie. It's been told a bunch of times, live action, maybe Disney could do it right. They're actually already making the one that I really want, which is The Jungle Book. Well, they're making about, here's the thing, we almost don't even have to answer the question because in about four years, they're all going to be live action. <laughs> right. I, I honestly, I think it's about six. I think they got, like, they got like six in the pipe right now that are coming. I think leading yeah, up you're right. to being the base. So pretty soon they're all going to be live Black action. Black Cauldron is Disney, am I right? I believe I so. Believe okay. it is. Okay. All right, what's next? Michael Sanders writes, do you think we'll get an animated feature film of the Bernstein Bears? Mm, great. <laughs> you know what? Bernstein. Bernstein. Oh, gosh. Bernstein. <laughs> I will say no, but I also, if you had asked me the question two years ago, do you think we will get a Paddington live action movie? I would have said no at that at the time too, and we did get it. So look, in the ever searching hunt for valid IP mm. that still has some recognition value, you can't write, I, I mean, I don't think it'll happen, but it's certainly possible. Mark, what do you think? I mean, they're making a Pez movie. You know, <laughs> making an emoji movie, making yeah, an so Angry Birds movie. Why not? Tetris. Yeah. What's happening to this planet? The adventures of <laughs> Father Bear and Mother Bear and Brother and Sister Bear. They never yeah. like, took the time to name themselves, probably because right. the bears are just trying to survive. But but you make it adventures. really dark. Yeah. Like yeah. Brother Bear is hooked on heroin. Yeah. <laughs> He's hooked on bear heroin. Yeah. Oh. Barrowin. <laughs> Man, I can't get enough shots of this barrowin, dude. <laughs> so many childhoods just oh. collapsing. Oh, he's selling Fair dates with his sister to pay for his addiction? <laughs> now I really oh want, I want to see this Dark. movie so bad. <laughs> totally live action. <laughs> <laughs> Father Bear's home. Who <laughs> wants it first, kids? That's right. <laughs> and oh, add a couple of really dark gosh. songs. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, let's great. totally destroy our fond memories of this <laughs> wonderful thing. Just call it Barrowin. <laughs> All right, let's, let's take two more. What's okay, next? Isaiah Gonzalez writes, do you need to watch original Rocky movies to enjoy Creed? Uh, Mark, I'll let you answer this. No, you do not. It will enhance your enjoyment of it. You'll see more things in Creed. You're like, oh, I remember that, oh, that. But if you've never seen any of the Rocky movies, go see Creed. Have a blast. Enjoy the hell out of it. All right, last question of the day. All right, the Babalook writes, any news <laughs> on the Lance Armstrong biopic with Ben Foster? We got a trailer months ago, but we haven't seen anything mm. since. Ah, uh, that's a good question. Aren't there like five Lance Armstrong movies that there's, being there's made? There's a few in the pipe. Yeah. There's, there's also a documentary that's already out that's fascinating right. if you haven't seen it. The Ben Foster one, I was like, how is he going to pull off Lance Armstrong? Then I saw the trailer, and I'm like, oh, he that pulled is off Lance Armstrong. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm very excited to see that. I wasn't sure what the release date was. Were they saving it to position it for Oscar, or is it for 2016? Well, okay, it is listed as having been released. It's it was Good called boy. it's called the program is the name of it. I remember that, and it says it was released in France uh, on September 16th. So maybe let me see if there is an American, an official American release date in Canada. It was released September 13th. Wow! So uh, all that means the, it the did not get picked up over here. Canadians yeah. getting it uh, getting it first, and I do not. I can't see an American release date. I, I don't think it, get to, it didn't get distribution here. Hmm. Yeah, throw it on December 18th. Nothing else comes out that week. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.